As you saw in the earlier video, add-ons are very powerful. They basically they increase the functionality of an already powerful Google Sheets. So let's go in and let's take a look at some of the add-ons and I'll talk about some of the add-ons that I've used, how I've used them, and then I'm going to have you go out and kind of explore on your own. So again, remember, um, we're just in the uh, responses for a form that I created. Um, this is a new addition to Google Sheets, probably in the last four to five months is, is when this came out. Um, and when I click on add-ons, you notice Flubaroo is already there because I've added that. Uh, I can click on get add-ons and this is going to give me a look. Now notice that this these tiles change. They don't always remain the same. So Flubaroo is now over here. Um, Dr. Puss, this is another incredibly powerful add-on. Remember, for each one of these add-ons, all we have to do is simply just click on it and it launches a new window and sometimes there's a video there's um, spreadsheets and different sheets for you to look at and then it gives an overview you can rate it and then again you can um, look at some of the reviews there so when you find one that you like you simply click on free and that's installed into your add-ons the cool thing about add-ons is once I install it so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and install this any sheet that you open after that, that add-on will be um, will show up here in your list here. So uh, you do it one time for an add-on, and then you are good to go. So notice that AutoCAD. I just started this up. Um, this is actually trying to run here. So let's go back and let's talk about some of the add-ons that I really like. Um, I'll talk about AutoCAD real quick. So AutoCAD is a powerful. It's a very cool app. And basically allows you to take data from a spreadsheet. It could be from a form or data that you've entered in another way. And it allows you to take and create a document um, out of that based on some fields that you have. So this is where you can um, add your tags and different things. Let's just see. Now it's not showing me the, the window here. But <clears throat> basically you set it up to create a Google Doc. You can format your Google Doc to be whatever format that you want. You put in tags, so uh, um, and, and it goes through that whole process. You put in tags, and then what happens is, is it will fill out a uh, a page for you. So, so a lot of times people use this for creating certificates. If you want uh, your students to get a certificate for completing a certain thing, um, they submit a form. Autocrat runs, uh, usually in triggers, and so you can trigger it to say anytime somebody submits a form, send them a certificate with their name on it, those types of things. So Autocrat's very, uh, very cool, very powerful. You know, and you notice is uh, some of these others in here remove duplicates, so I can go through a lot of times in spreadsheets, you have duplicate data. You can re remove um, duplicates here. Um, I can put in math formulas into Google Sheets. So if you're doing something with, a, with, your, with your math students and you're really struggling to get student or formulas in, um, you can use this GMath for Sheets here. Um, it's a template gallery that allows me to look for or search for different templates I can use in um, Google Sheets. This is a great one. A lot of times in your spreadsheets, your names will be in the same column. What I can do is I can go in and I can say split those into individual columns. If I'm doing some kind of sorting, I can do a random. Again, just lots of different uh, opportunities here. There's a couple others in here that I'm looking for. Uh, Formule. This is a great one for administrators that are doing um, evaluation. So an administrator will set up a form. Um, that form then, remember, gets a spreadsheet associated with it. And so they go into that spreadsheet and they use Formule that base and what formula does is basically says okay once somebody submits a uh, uh, something to a spreadsheet take and capture the email so you obviously you have to have an email field or cell in your form and send that person information back and so so as in a principal's uh, example what they would do is they would walk into your classroom they would take their form they'd enter all that data and they would submit that in Formula, they've already set up this template, what it looks like, you know, in terms of a reply back to you. And when they leave your classroom, they can hit submit and it will actually take and find your email address. It will email that back to you and they can designate what they want to show up on that. So they can say, here's what I saw when I was in your classroom and just pick each individual um, cell from the uh, survey that they completed on yours and enter any, any other text they want to. So Formula is incredibly powerful um, as well. Let's see, there's a couple others in here. 
Um, and and these uh, these get they get more and more add-ons every time I look at the this site here. So um, we can do there's a there's a mail merge. Yet another mail merge is is another one in here. Let me see if I can find that. And um, that one, this one right here, basically what it does, it allows you to um, create a merge and then that'll put those out as uh, like labels, those types of things. So if you have a long list of, of parent names or something like that, you can send those out uh, very easily using uh, yet another mail merge. So just some of the add-ons, again, I'm gonna ask you to go out and just explore, find something that might fit your needs or you know, you, maybe you're thinking about a certain project that you're working on with students that uh, you might find helpful. Just encourage you to go out and uh, check these out.